Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem and here is the news. For 506 days, Ukraine defends itself against the forces of the Russian invasion. Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, General Valery Zaluzhny, gave an interview to Washington Post, reports Ukrainska Pravda. In it, the general said that Ukraine will use weapons of its own production to carry out strikes on Russian territory. Because of the lack of weapons, the absence of new Western aircraft and the Allies' conditions for longer-range missiles, this cannot be used to strike Russian territory. Zaluzhny said that Ukrainian armed forces use Ukrainian-made weapons to frequently strike across the border, which Kyiv has never officially recognized as its own. To save my people, why do I have to ask someone for permission what to do on enemy territory? For some reason, I have to think that I'm not allowed to do anything there? Why? Because Putin will use nuclear weapons? The kids who are dying don't care, stressed the commander. He added that it is possible and necessary to kill an enemy on his territory in a war. Zaluzhny said that if Ukraine's partners are afraid to use their weapons, Ukrainians will use their own. Commander-in-Chief also said that as soon as Ukraine has the resources, he would like to liberate Russian-occupied Crimea. He hinted that he is ready to do it, even though some Western officials privately worry about what Russian dictator Vladimir Putin's reaction would be if Ukrainian troops ever reached the territory. As soon as I have the means, I'll do something. I don't give a damn. Nobody will stop me, said the Ukrainian general. When asked about his plans for after the war, Zaluzhny said that he would like to travel or write a book. At the same time, he believes the true victory and challenge will be to create such an army so that no one can attack Ukraine again. According to political sources, a coalition of European countries that this week promised to begin training Ukrainian pilots on F-16 fighter jets are still waiting for official US approval of the program, reports European Pravda. Official training can begin only after the U.S. State Department officially signs off on a request for the transfer of instructions, flight simulators and other materials related to aircraft, which has not yet happened. The Pentagon stressed that although President Joe Biden has promised to give the green light to the program, the formal request is still under review. Earlier this week, 11 partner countries together with Ukraine signed a memorandum that defines the conditions for training Ukrainian pilots on F-16 fighter jets. We would really appreciate if you could rate us, ideally with five stars, in the apps where you are listening to this podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify. This way more people would learn about the highlights from Ukraine and truth about Russia's invasion. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced that Berlin plans to supply Ukraine with defense aid worth 17 billion euros till 2027, reports NVUA. He reminded that Germany provides Ukraine with the second most support after the US, including in military aid. Taiwan media China Times informed that the US is buying back the commissioned MYM-23 Hawk missile systems sold to Taiwan to later give them to Ukraine as part of a military aid package, reports Militarny. The media source states that the systems will be transferred to the Ukrainian army to combat Russian drones and low-altitude aircraft. Hawk is a U.S. medium-range anti-aircraft missile system first developed in 1960s. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.